YouTube, all right, today, still under quarantine, all right? <sighs> Just in the house, okay? And today in this video, I did a comb over. It was dope, blend was on point. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do the whole nine, all right? Just stay tuned. Let's get through this quarantine together. And this is pre-recorded too. You know? I don't want you guys to think that I just did this. You know what I mean? These are videos that I've been had out, especially with, just when it comes to the haircuts. These are videos that I've been cut, just never released, okay? Stay tuned. this haircut off I'm gonna start by saturating my clients hair with water you want to refrain from spraying too much water in your clients hair that way it's not dripping down their face but after that I'm gonna lay the hair in place um, I'm doing a comb over so I'm gonna uh, comb that side down um, make sure everything is laid and basically I'm gonna put my duck clips in just to hold the hair in place so that way I could put in my parts and the hair could just stay out of the way. So with the two guard open using my Andis Masters, I'm going to debulk the basically the bulk on the sides all right now when it comes to the back I'm not gonna go all the way up I'm definitely gonna drop it in the back because I want to keep that shape and you'll see how I keep that shape as you know the cut goes along but it's very important not to bring that fade up too too high in the back that way you don't want to uh, you know cut the crown too short you got the bulk out of the way you want to create your bald line I'm using my babless gold trimmers to set in my bald line and I'm not setting it in as if I would line you know my client up I'm going upwards so I don't set in a harsh guideline and as far as going around the back I'm gonna drop the fade just so I won't go too high in the back you really want to keep some of that weight near the crown area so it won't look um, you know, not proportion. You want your shape to look right. So now with my Babyliss Gold Shavers, I'm going to make the bottom half razor bald. I'm not going all the way up to that line. I'm leaving about a quarter inch and uh, this is going to make your fade a lot more cleaner. Um, it's going to add another transition to your blend.
Now with the lever open, using my Endis Masters, I'm going up about a half inch. I'm really gonna be going over the guideline multiple times, making sure that I got it to this lever open link. halfway I'm going up right in the middle of that guy line that I set with the lever open and I'm basically I'm just basically just softening up that bottom line at this point just trying to get it ready to take it out So now that you softened up that bottom line, with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out the bottom line. And remember, if you need to adjust your lever as you go up, do so. That way you won't be bringing the fade, you know, any higher. You know, adjust your lever as you go up. Now with the one guard open, you're going up about a half inch. Same thing when you put in the lever open, same width. All right, I'm using my comb to basically feed the hair into the teeth of the blade. And uh, make sure that you don't go up too high because you still want some of that bulk at the top so you can clip over comb. So now it's time to do clipper over comb. You wanna build a shape, all right? So what I'm doing is putting the clipper straight up uh, vertical on my client's head, and I'm gonna cut everything that's hanging over. I'm gonna do this and make sure I look from side to side, looking at my client's head, um, just making sure that the shape is correct. With the two guard open i'm gonna run my clippers straight up uh, making sure that everything blends in to that clipper over comb that i did Now putting back on the one guard open, I'm just gonna blend that one into the two. So 
with the zero guard closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. And remember, if you need to adjust your lever as you go up, do so that way you won't create another guideline and force your fade to go up even higher. like to end the haircut off with doing some detail work this separates you from a lot of barbers of just actually just being basic uh, this takes your blend to the next level I like to look away from the blend look in the mirror do what I have to do to readjust my eyes on what I see and I just kind of use my corners attack uh, different areas where I see bulk use different guards in areas where I know I use that guard at um, and just you know detail my work as much as possible So right now I'm taking out my duck clips, I'm going to saturate my client's hair with water and then I'm going to do some sheer work on top. Now as far as doing sheer work, I'm real basic when it comes to sheer work. I like to start from the front. My client wanted an inch off the top. So right now I'm pulling the front hairs up. I'm going to take off about an inch and I'm going to use a little piece of that from the front. Use that as a traveling guideline and work my way back. I'm going to take a little piece from the front, work my way back, uh, measure it, basically take some off of that and then just keep doing that while I work my way back. Um, that's it's basically super simple. I'm I, I'm not really like an expert at shear work. I just do the basics when it comes to uh, you know the top. it in my hard part I like to set it in when the hair is a little bit damp um, it gives it a like more crispier uh, part so I always know before I start that there's two sides to a line so you want to make sure you do the bottom and the top the top being the longest hair um, side of the part so just make sure you put it in crispy uh, nice and easy and just you know be real careful around this area because you don't want to make this part so huge make it look as natural as possible
show you why they call me 360 When they sit in my chair, I spin them in the full 360 And they come out looking like bam You too, this is the cut And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button Also, Hustle Dreams Production is on the beat That's my brother, man If you want to check his YouTube channel out Links will be in the description below Also, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video Links will be in the description below Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. My Snapchat is Jeezy360 and my Instagram is 360Jeezy. But it's your boy 360Jeezy and I'm out of here. Chick.